it sucks. Be the person who's never chosen. It's not even about wanting to be in a relationship. It's not even about wanting to like sleep with everyone or do all these things. Not feeling desired does psychological warfare to you because when everyone chooses everyone else except you, like the last kid being chosen for soccer, why am I the last one being chosen? The common denominator is obviously me. And then it just makes you feel bad. People are like, oh, self love this, self love that. Like, yeah, okay, I do love myself. But it'd also be nice to feel desired by other people other than myself. You know, self love is like freaking cauliflower wings. They taste good, they're delicious, they're nice if you want a crispy fried snack. But if you're craving chicken wings, the cauliflower wings are not gonna cut it. They're gonna be good, they're gonna be all right, but it's not the same thing. I wanna walk into a room and people will be like, oh, wow that girl but instead i'm the person where people grow to like me they're like oh she's so funny she's so nice she's so kind people like me for my personality i miss the personality which is fine just saying everyone gets to experience all these different things all these different experiences or when you're at the bar and everyone's flirting with everyone except you and you're just standing there alone awkwardly you have to go to the bathroom so what else are you supposed to do no one's talking to you everyone's talking to everyone else i don't know anyway Well, first I would say is you got to represent yourself a little bit better than that. I don't know what you got on there. Look like you got some a nightgown on. You got the the sleeping thing on. You got your hair kind of looking kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to represent. Now you might say, well, I'm not out on a date and I'm not trying to impress a guy or I'm not trying to, you know, look a certain way. Yeah, but you're 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 representing that look to the world. You know what I mean? When people get to know you and see you and they're not attracted to you. Uh, in the beginning and you're you end up being a cool person yeah people are going to be friends with you but you have to be desirable and you have to understand that as a woman there's a lot of competition out there so you need to represent yourself the best way you can without being phony and fake just be original don't put on an act don't try to be the funniest one in, one in the room unless you are you know what i mean just just be you represent yourself and never walk out the house or never post a video looking crazy you know when i was a little kid i remember my grandfather told me he was like don't you ever walk out of this house not looking your best and that applies to you too young lady stop getting on here you i'm glad you don't have a bonnet on i, I you know i'll give you that but there's no point in having that thing up here that you, you know, block out your eyes so you can go to sleep, having your nightgown on, you know, it just does, it's not a good look. Men are not going to be attracted to that, not for any type of commitment. So my advice to you is get your confidence up, stop doubting yourself. You know, the first thing people see is your outer, outer appearance. So you need to have that tight. Men definitely check that out at first. I know this is really all about men not choosing you. You know, you threw up a lot of other things, but, you know, I know what time it is and I know that's what it's about. So if you want a man to pay attention to you, you have to represent, but don't do it in a in a in a slutty type of way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just just be you, you know, wear something nice. Make sure you always look nice and just be yourself. You will run across um, the best guy for you. But then when you meet him, you got to make sure you give him a chance. Don't be like a lot of these women out there like, oh, you ain't good enough. Oh, you ain't good enough. Oh, you don't make that much money. Oh, you're not tall enough. All these things that really don't matter in the end. You think a lot of those women that are 100 years old or 90 years old that are shorter or taller than their husband actually care now how tall somebody was? How much money somebody has? So just be real and get up your confidence. And don't, please, don't get in videos looking like Ain't Jemima. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.